Welcome, everyone, to Chestnut Hill, home of the Boston College Eagles, where fans are filing into Alumni Stadium. They'll look between the field hockey lines, perhaps underneath the Musco lighting that's been imported in, and hope that there will be a party in the moods. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake, as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Michigan State Spartans, taking on a team from the ACC, the Boston College Eagles. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Michigan State's offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. The quick passing game does several things. One, it doesn't let the pass rush get to you. Those great defensive line, but the ball's coming out so fast they can't get there. And then what else? It gets me ahead of the sticks. I don't have to worry about getting in long yardage and predictable situations. Looking to throw its child. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. The big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Shotgun snap on third down. Zips it out to his man. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. There's a reason third down is called the money now. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They try to get it outside on the left. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back in the coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go. And they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Off the play fake. Fires to the big fella. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Looking for a gap. It's Carter. Still running at the 40. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Man, this guy just has a lot of skills when he's toting the rock, doesn't he? He's got speed, but he's also physical. Kind of reminds you of great Michigan State running backs. Guys like Le'Veon Bell or TJ Duckett. They could run guys over, but once they got in the second level, they could take it the distance. This guy has skills like that. Looking to throw its child. Quickly out to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations that time. Perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. They'll run it to the right side. 
Finding an escape route. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Spartans have it in scoring position on first and goal. Use the play fake, now to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. And the D denied him on second and goal. To the ground with the back. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. they got that three in their back pocket. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Distance not the problem here. The angle is a little tricky. That is no good. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for room. It's Grobachev. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Brings up second down. Boston College right back to the line. It's a draw. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. Effective draw plays in a running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sale. You've got to really make the defense think it's passed. You keep your eyes focused downfield until the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. Good enough. the end of the first quarter and it has been a defensive battle and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. BC back to work after picking up the first down. Leaves it with the back. Discards a man. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Looking for space. It's Grobachev. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Now, a 
fourth down. Boston College lining up to punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute it. Halfway there on first down and second and five. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. They just can't do it better. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it in the middle. It's a belly. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Always nice to have that security blanket of the tight end. And it's nice to have a tight end that can line up in different areas of the field, too. It's not always going to be in a three-point stance. He can sometimes be in the backfield. You could flex him out into the slot. They might even try to put this guy out at wide receiver in the split end position and see what he can do there, because this guy is a weapon. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Offense in an empty set. To the air, it's Child. Can't quite make the connection there. I don't let him a little too much. The quarterback receiver just not on the same page on that last play. Timing has got to be so critical, especially when you're throwing the perimeter of the field. They just didn't have it. Even if they don't confer, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll off one deep down the left side. He caught it, and he will score! Touchdown, Spartans! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. Got a man, it's Bradley. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. 
I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long. You've got to anticipate. You've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break. And they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Wants to throw. It's Castellanos. Going to try to get it himself. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job by the QB. Sit back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love this slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Boston College wants to play fast. Comes out throwing on first down. That's caught. It's Bradley. Made the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Going up top. He's got it. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Boston Gullman! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half. Stay calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. He'll try to tack on one more. Splits the uprights. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. And the clock will stop with his timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Line gets set, first down. To the air, it's Child using the quick game. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock and they'll get a quick breather. And there was no question in that scenario, that's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. He's got him wide open. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. The Spartans have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Yeah, that's a good play on the ball. Get his hand up and get the tip, get the deflection. The ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. They'll try to get on the same page this time. Second and ten from the 31. He's looking to throw. The quick out. Bulls his way forward. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. They'll try to get it through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, they can take the three points on the board. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. Field goal is good. And with that, they've taken the lead. Michigan State, 10, Austin College, 7.
That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. From the gun, running back on the move. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, you've been taking in some scene there today in Chestnut Hill. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Alumni Stadium. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. Returner will field it and try to get some field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop in the 19. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. Low scoring first half, but now an opportunity to get things off on the right foot here in the third quarter. Well, and the good thing is you had time to go in the locker room. You had time to discuss what they're doing, what of our plan of action is now moving forward, Palmer. They might have caught them off guard a little bit. They know they should have made some adjustments. Yeah, you had a chance to regroup and go back and think about, okay, where do we think we have our best chance of success in this game? Which side of the offensive line can we run to? Which guy can we throw to? To hopefully now have a much better second half. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. And the Golden Eagles want to crank the tempo. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at... Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. Reels it in and goes out of bounds on the left side after the huge game. Touchdown, Eagles! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon in that arm town. Show it to all of us right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish with a bang, a 71-yard scoring strike. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They'll throw it on first down. He's got it. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Really nice job on that throw, just giving his guy an opportunity to catch the ball. It kind of reminds me about Bill Burke, a guy I played against back in the Citrus Bowl when I was playing. He was throwing to Plaxico Burris, and he just kept putting the football 
in Plax's range, and we just couldn't stop the two of them. They went up and down the field on us all day long throwing it. If you just give your guy a chance like he did right there, I don't know if this defense can stop him. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great the tackle for a loss on first down. Right back to him on the ground. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. Not at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes. Nowhere. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Back to throw. It's Child. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. Now, this is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass. But you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick him up and put him down. And I'm faster than most of your other guys, too. So good luck stopping. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's gone. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. The Golden Eagles want to pick up the tempo. Dialing up a second down pass play. That pass is incomplete and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And finally the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls incomplete. They try to pop a run on the draw. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And I think you'll hear a little grumbling from the fan base, right? Third and long. I want to I be aggressive. I want to throw the football. They get conservative. This offense is leading. Maybe that goes into the thought process a little bit. Boston College will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are. Just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Give to the back. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Picks up nine. And that's a first down for the offense. That's the end of the quarter, and Boston College has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. That's caught. It's Carter. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. As running backs are not just running backs. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Offense gets set for second down. Looking for a man. It's Child. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man to the left. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. Gain of 
They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things, I, it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. Gonna run it. It's Carter. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. Commit to the run like this, obviously, you give up some plays in the passing game, but you gotta stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Running to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last yeah. running play. I'm not sure he was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own. Unfortunately, he ended up losing yards. What a big play this one could be. Tight game, getting late, third and long coming up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Makes a grab enough for the first. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. You need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another team look like that in the rest of this game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. This third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Back to throw, it's Child. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Smarty. They've got the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they capped things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it out. It's Bond. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Morales. Tackled immediately after the catch. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. 
got the quick pass. He would love to have picked up the first down there, but saving the timeouts, saving the clock, much more important right now. Yeah, that could save the game, because now I can work the middle of the field still. Now I can still take those shots deep. When I get without timeouts and those start to dwindle, I get very predictable, so great job getting out of bounds. Looking to pass, it's Castellanos. They'll run the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Boston College coming to the line after moving the chains. Caught behind the line. It's Franklin. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. They're going to throw it again. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's taking a deep shot. Just let him a little too far across the sidelines. Couldn't make the catch in bounds. It's incomplete. And man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. Wants to throw on second down. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Catch in the middle. It's McGowan. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Well, I know it's early in the drive, and you're just trying to get completions and get the drive going, but this is two minutes, and you're trailing. I mean, you've got to take some shots down the field and be a little bit more aggressive, put some pressure on this defense. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Fires to the wideout. And he intercepts it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you got to score. you got to make big plays. But you can't turn the football over. Big time mistake. This one might cost them. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. 